Thank you for tuning in to Macroview Television. This is the Taiwan Outlook, and I'm your host, Raymond Wu. On today's program, we all know that 2009 World Games is in Kaohsiung, Taiwan, and we are delighted and honored to have the Managing Director of the 2009 Kaohsiung World Game Organizing Committee to be here with us, Ms. Liu Shifang. Welcome to the program, Shifang. Thank you. Hello, everybody. This is Shifang Liu, the Managing Director of Kaohsiung Organizing Committee. Wow, I can only start off the you know, program with a wow because this is a very exciting period for Kaohsiung and for Taiwan. Sure. Because in July, which is about a few months away, we're going to be hosting the 2009 World Games in Taiwan. First time ever, you know, international athletic competition at such a level right. to be held in Taiwan. Right. And this is a very exciting moment. Mm -hmm. And we want to start off the program by asking you, what was the factor? or factors mm -hmm. that helped Kaohsiung to win the bid to host the 2009 World Games. It's my great pleasure to give you some briefing about this World Game 2009. Mm -hmm. uh, Kaohsiung City uh, is the uh, major city of Taiwan and of Asia countries, mm -hmm. uh, but we never have any experience for this multi-sports event of mm -hmm. the world. Yes. So it was about uh, uh, six years ago, okay. uh, the former mayor of Kaohsiung City, uh, mm -hmm. Frank She, okay. and the uh, sports director, uh, Mr. Lin, of mm -hmm. Executive UN. Okay. I think they invited the chairperson uh, of IWGA, which is International World Games Association, to visit mm -hmm. to see is there any possibility that Kaohsiung City can be the host city of the A. World Games in uh, 2009. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we um, were asked what would be your major, you know, fascinating factors okay. to attract so many uh, judges or uh, visitors that uh, you can have this kind of opportunity, have the uh, whole, uh, whole city of mm -hmm. uh, World Games 2009. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important is first of all, because we emphasize the friendship Okay. Uh, and we emphasize the harmony, we yes. emphasize this kind of a community, and we emphasize the unity uh, of the Asia uh, country of yes. the world. Uh -huh. And second of all, I think we want to spend lots of uh, money okay, yes. for this uh, main stadium. Because yeah. the main sta uh, stadium, it is all completed right now. Yes. Uh, will be our uh, opening ceremony, mm -hmm. closing ceremony, and the four of the multi-sports games. Okay. So I think because our uh, work very hard, yes. so we can beat some other six cities of uh, Asia and some uh, European uh, cities. cities. Yes. And get the whole city in 2009. Yes. And we all know that hosting such an international event mm -hmm. is no easy task. Right. I certainly don't envy your job as the managing <laughs> director because yes. I know you've been on the job since August of 2008. Yes. Uh, it's been you know roughly about you know eight months, you mm -hmm. know ten months now, mm -hmm. and then there's a lot of you know preparations that need to go into before the game is held. Mm -hmm. uh, what were some of the you know areas of priority concern mm -hmm. you know for you? Mm -hmm. you know, in terms of organizing such a huge international event? First of all, I think that I would thank my staff okay. of the KOC, which is uh, Kaohsiung Very Organizing yes. Committee, yes. and also the staff member of the KCG, which is uh, Kaohsiung City Government, okay. and also the central government. They can give us the okay. budget, okay. human resources, mm -hmm. and different kind of experience they have experienced for mm -hmm. this sports uh, event. Mm -hmm. So um, when I took this job last year, I think the most important for me is try to be a coordinator. Okay. You have lots of tax force, you have lots of, of uh, different experiences. How can you connect the people who work in public domain or who work in private domain, such mm. as how can you get financial support from the entrepreneurs? Yes, from or, the corporate sector. Yes, mm -hmm. and what uh, will be the possibility that you can find more than 6,000 volunteers uh, Especially it's not, be easy. <laughs> not so easy, especially in southern Taiwan. Yeah. And we will ask half them, half of them should have speaking English yeah, as their second, yeah, as mm. their uh, second languages. Mm -hmm. uh, so the coordination uh, will uh, needs lots of uh, efforts mm -hmm. to try to complete it. Mm -hmm. And the second of all is to promote mm -hmm. what is the war game. Yes. People are so curious. In of Taiwan, said, so "What is war game? Yes. What is the differences between war games in and uh, Olympic games?" Yes. And my explanation is very simple: not the sports in war game uh, in uh, 
Olympic Games uh, were switched in the World Games. Exactly. Yeah, so mm. I think it's very important that the IWGA, the International mm. World Game Association, they mm -hmm. are under the paternity of uh, IOC, which yes. is International Olympic Committee. So we will just follow the rule and follow the regulation made by IWGA and try to host this multi-sports event in mm -hmm. this July. Mm -hmm. And we'll know that, you know, like you explained just now, that uh, the competition that were you know in the Olympics will not be duplicated in the World Games, no. and uh, also we also understand that in this year's you know World Game mm -hmm. for 2009 in Kaohsiung, that there were some competition mm -hmm. specially designed for this event this year. For That's example, right. Dragon Ball yes. you know things. Can you uh, explain that a little bit to us? What was some of the unique competition? You know, planned and staged specifically for the Kaohsiung Games. Yeah, I think it's very interesting. I know the World Games 2009, which mm -hmm. uh, is the second time held in Asia City. Oh, mm -hmm. The first time uh, it is in Japan, Japan. Akita City, which okay. uh, was in 2001. Okay. So after eight years, uh, we have the the right of the whole Asia. city, yes. and uh, I think the IWGA they are very exciting. Says how can we promote the mm -hmm. features of mm -hmm. Asia countries? Mm -hmm. So not just the Dragon Ball uh, competition, no. but also the Wushu, yes, or the Karate, yes, or Sumo, yes, or uh, um, uh, Jiu Jitsu, yes. you know, you never heard it. Yes. So I think it's a kind of an Asia style competition. Mm -hmm. Very unique. Very yes. unique. Yes. But I think people over uh, Asia country, they, are, they all are very interesting about those unique uh, sports events at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also one interesting aspect is, you know, we're all gonna be, you know, wanting to go to the games and want to buy tickets. Uh, we know it starts in July. And mm -hmm. how quickly can we you know, purchase tickets or make reservations for tickets uh -huh. uh, to the World Games in Kaohsiung. Right, uh, I think the D-Day, I mean, yes. the, the first day of uh, selling those tickets uh, would be on April 1st. April 1st. That's okay. right. Okay, so it's and the uh, right around the price, corner. Yes. The mm. cheapest price is $75, which is NT dollars. NT dollars, okay. But the, uh, the, the, the most expensive one uh -huh. is 750 okay NT dollars. 10 times more <laughs> 10 yes. times more <laughs> yes. it depends on the uh, sports yes okay uh -huh. and it's very easy because uh, you everybody in taiwan knows that we have uh, more than a uh, 3500 store mm -hmm. of 711 yes so you can always uh, purchase those uh, tickets okay. on uh, uh, 711 the communion store okay for the people who live in um, international community, mm -hmm. all you have to do is just punch in the 7-Eleven's uh, uh, website okay. and try to order or res reserve it. Uh -huh. And when you come here, I mean, come to Kaohsiung, yes. you can pick it up uh, the tickets okay. on the convenience store or yeah. just on side of the venue. Okay. Yeah. How about those viewers at home who mm -hmm. want to go to the games, but mm -hmm. maybe because of school or uh, work or other reasons, mm -hmm. they can't make it on site. Mm -hmm. Are we going to be, be able to see the World Games on television? And yes. which channel will carry it? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a sign, uh, the uh, broadcasting ride with PTS, okay. which is public television station. So, yes. They mm -hmm. uh, will be the main uh, media uh, center. Mm -hmm. And we have chosen six of live mm -hmm. broadcasting which okay. are opening ceremony mm -hmm. and the closing ceremony of course and the blue alerts mm -hmm. and some other interesting parts that the Taiwanese uh, viewers would like to see it uh -huh. and I think it's all very interesting about it okay. and for the rest of the uh, uh, 25 uh -huh. we will have our broadcasting but uh, you can view it mm -hmm. on different kind of a television company such mm -hmm. as ESPN okay all right before the end of this segment I want to mm -hmm. ask you Give us some numbers in terms of how big this event really is. Mm -hmm. For example, how many athletes from mm -hmm. how many different countries are we expecting at the World Games this year? Okay, so far as I understand, uh, we will have uh, 3,005 athletes, mm -hmm. plus the extra officials okay. are gonna have uh, 5,000. Okay. But, but if we have uh, invitational okay. uh, sports and okay. some uh, sports park, okay. we were additional 5,000. Okay. So the total size of those sports okay. will be uh, 10,000 at all. Okay, how big is the Taiwan delegation to the uh, uh, we, will, we, will, we will be the, 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 the biggest one, yes. uh, over 200. 
Okay. And what were some of the competition you think our athletes, athletes from Taiwan, will be able to win medals, will be able to compete you know, mm -hmm. very you know, closely with other athletes around the world? Okay. First of all, I think the tug of war. Yes. And second of all is the core ball okay. and the billiards okay. and uh, some other interesting uh, parts. Like but, uh, martial arts. And ma <laughs> martial arts is a kind of an invitational okay. uh, sport, right. so they okay. don't give you the medal. Metal, okay. Yes. okay. But the martial arts, I think we will have a very good experience of it. Yeah. And finally, Shifang, the question I have is, you know, probably a lot of people have it on their minds too, mm -hmm. that on an event like this, mm -hmm. with such a magnitude, you probably need a lot of volunteers. Sure. Uh, how many do you need? And uh, if people watching at home, they mm -hmm. will want to be a part of this event, mm -hmm. how do they sign up to be a volunteer? Okay, our uh, volunteers now registers is 5,350. Okay. We expect that we will have 6,000. Yes. But the volunteer are gonna be have uh, the training. Okay. If they don't have training, the volunteer will, you know, destroy the yeah. efforts of their the original week. intent. Yeah, right. Yeah. So if you do have interest in about, no matter you are good in English or Japanese, okay. you all are welcome to punch in our website. Okay. And you can register on the web. Right. Okay. And we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back to the Taiwan Outlook. We're going to continue this conversation with the managing director of the Kaohsiung 2009 World Game Organizing Committee, Ms. Liu Shifeng. And we're going to ask her about some of the other administrative aspects of holding such an international event in Taiwan. We'll be right back.